my heart feels light. It's worked. He's stolen the gizmo. It is his now, and he can keep it. I climb out of the pool. The girls stand there looking at me in my pink bikini. They giggle at me, but I don't care anymore. Something good is going to happen. If my plan works. Right on cue, the gizmo starts to hum. At any moment, it will beep. I will get Floggett's outfit, and he will get mine. Before Floggett can say a word, there is a beep. I have to time this just right. I turn my back on the crowd. I take off my bikini and I throw it over the fence. I am naked, but only for a flash. The gizmo beeps. I get Floggett's outfit and he gets mine. I am fully dressed in a leather jacket and jeans. I have Floggett's gear. And he has what I was wearing. Nothing. He is stark as not a stitch on. He tries to cover himself up with his hands. He's babbling and he's squealing in fright. He doesn't know what's going on. He tries to hide, but there is nowhere to hide. Floggett screams and screams. The girls start to laugh when they see him. <laughs> they think it's an enormous joke. Floggett stares at the gizmo in his hand. He throws it away and he shrieks as if it is red hot. But it just comes back to him. He turns and runs. He goes for his life and the gizmo follows, like a guilty conscience. Floggett is scared of the gizmo, terrified. He heads up the diving board. Up he goes, and after him goes the gizmo, bouncing from step to step. Floggett stands on top of the board shivering and trying to hide his naked body from the girls. He blubbers and brawls, but there is nowhere left to hide. The whole world can see him. In the end, he jumps. The gizmo follows. It does a perfect dive. The girls all stand on the edge. They think it's a great joke. Floggett treads water out in the middle. He'll have to come out sooner or later. I mean, he can't stay there all day. And neither can I. It's time for me to go. Come back, yells Floggett. He does not sound tough at all. Just the opposite, in fact. I don't think he'll ever bother me again. Don't leave me! I look over my shoulder, just for a second. Suffer, I say. Then, I run off as quickly as I can. As I go, I think I see a little man with eyes like windows. He is looking at Floggett and chuckling. When I reach home, I think about what I will do with Floggett's leather coat and jeans. I decide that I'll give them back to him in the morning. Might as well. After all, I don't want people saying I'm a thief. Do I? And that is the end of the gizmo. I hope you all enjoyed.